Hi. Um, I've been thinking about what you said about Rose, and I'd like to offer my help. Like I said, I just wanted to offer my support as someone who deals with these kind of issues day to day. And that is really kind of you. But to be honest, I didn't even know Tony was going to speak to you about any of this, so... Well, shouldn't the school know that Rose is struggling with who she is? Shouldn't you make these decisions with your wife? I'm certain you both have your child's best interests at heart. Listen, this is all still really new for our Rose. And what I don't want to do is overwhelm her by involving too many people. You know, in case she changes her mind. I'm sure that won't be the case. She wanted to be a zookeeper last year for a week. I didn't mean to cause any problems. I assumed you knew. I'll leave you both to discuss it further. Why would you do this? All right, yeah, it helps if the school can look out for Rose, but it's about us being on the same page. I know. I should have gone to you before speaking to Carter. So what are we saying about these pronouns and the name change? I mean, if it's what Rose wants... Being a good parent isn't always about what your kids want. No, no, I need the locks done today. Oh, thanks, anyway. Hi. Hi. Look, um, I don't want to overstep, but I would be happy to talk to Rose if, if you think it would be helpful to, um, you know, talk about my experiences back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. <laughs> thanks, Sally, but we're not quite there yet. No, no, quite understand. But, um, the offer still stands, yeah. Anyway, look, I, I need to be getting a bus for a hospital appointment. Yeah, let me drive you. Right in the middle of that chat. It can wait. No, 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 there's no need. I'm perfectly happy getting the bus. No, I insist. It's good to help people when we can, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks. Do you know, I swear our Eva spreads her toys as far and wide as she wants. Look, I just wanted to say I completely understand your concerns about not wanting too many people to get involved regarding Rose. Well, yeah, it's just the wider this goes, the harder it'll be for her to come back from me. But then, of course, us burying our head in the sand will only exacerbate her behavioural issues. Uh, by that, I mean um, her recent absences and faking illness. And, of course, as well you know, us being able to offer her counselling at the school is sadly minimal. So... I would just like to offer you these specialised resources. It might help Rose in finding her way through her feelings. Hey, don't get me wrong, right? If she feels like she's being born into the wrong body, then... Well, I'll accept her completely. She'll always be my little... Ge my little child. I can't say this as a head teacher, but... If you want my personal opinion on it, we are getting more and more cases like Rose's in school every day due to social media, the way society is heading. This kind of confusion is catching on, but seemingly you're unable to express your concern without being labelled a bigot. Exactly. And, you know, this could be the real thing. Or maybe Rose is just getting caught up in, I don't know, some sort of trend. You know, these days people are jumping over themselves to affirm someone's gender. And based on what? <laughs> what, because they say so? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you're keeping a level head about this, even though I know some people around you aren't. Oh, Tony, hi. Anyway, look, I'd best be getting off. I'm on homework duty this afternoon. Um, look, it might be a good idea to get Rose to come along. I can offer her some extra support. I'll see myself up. Hey, thanks, Carter. What, so I'm not allowed to speak to Carter by myself, but you are, is that right? Oh, he just popped in. And you would have been here too if you weren't more interested in giving Sally a lift. What, did he bring these? Yeah. They're a bit religious, aren't they? So? So I thought they might have been a bit more official coming from the school. And haven't we better wait and see what this GP's got to say first? I think we need to just hit pause on everything right now. Hit pause? Yeah. No changes to Rosa's name or pronouns until we both feel it's right, agreed? Tony, we said we need to be on the same page. Fine, no changes. Hey, you know, my car's not making that noise anymore. I told you it's Corrody Spark Plug. Mmm, you can have your own garage one day. Be a great entrepreneur like your dad. I have another dad. Very funny. <laughs> What are these? 
Help your child reconnect the beauty and purpose of their biological sex. Your mum's just trying to understand. She don't want me to be a boy, does she? Are you even going to use my new name? Hey, you just need to know that we love you so much. If you love me, this is who I am. I know. And I'm going to try my best to use your new name and your pronouns whenever it's just us, OK? Can you go to your room, please? We have literally just agreed that we wouldn't make any changes. Well, at least I'm not trying to hurt her. Did you see how that came across? Hang on a minute. You're the one who went to Carter in the first place. And you know, at the moment, I trust him a lot more than I trust you. Yeah, I'm just trying to do best by our kid. Like I'm not. Do you know what? You can sleep on the couch tonight. Diane, we can't let this tear our family apart. I need a bit of space before I say something that I can't take back. So to catch up on all the latest drama in the Hollyoaks Village, you need to click here to watch full episodes or here to get some little snippets of what's been going on. Do not forget to subscribe.